Hey, ladies and gentlemen, how you doing on this uh, beautiful Friday, might I add? Gorgeous. Gorgeous. <laughs> Straight gorgeous today. Uh, for Friday, April 27th, 2018, ladies and gentlemen, we are wrapping up April very quickly. It's over. It's over. Is this the last talking trends for April? When is the first? No. No, Tuesday, because I think, is on the first. So yes, we, yeah. we'll have one more talking trends for, for still April. Right. You're still all right. <laughs> uh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning into yet another episode of Talking Trends. If you are unsure of what this show is and you just tuned in for the first time, well, myself, welcome, it, welcome first of all, <laughs> yeah. uh, myself and Tony Fi and interesting news articles from across the globe, and we bring them to the comforts of your home, wherever you may be, sitting at your computer desk, listening on iTunes, Google Play, during your workout. Uh, are you on an airplane? Well, safe travels, yeah. uh, but thanks for listening. Yeah. Um, also, subscribe to our YouTube page and check out our website, wetalkingtrends.com. Sha! Yeah. In a nutshell. And it's live. And we're live, unlike a lot of podcasts, so we would like to hear your opinions and comments. And guess what? They make the show. They do. And everybody gets to hear your, your, your wicked comments. Your lovely comments. Lovely comments. Mm -hmm. uh, how's your day going, sir? <laughs> One of those crazy days. We got some things on the go today, so we're kind of running around. We're, uh, but we did not want to fail you people. Yeah, we actually. We pulled the steel. <laughs> we got here probably like 20 minutes ago. Yeah. We found some stories. Yeah. We set it all up, yeah. and, and we were a minute early yeah for the show. we should do that more often because we're always late i know <laughs> we're here might like be, two might, hours ahead of time it might be a new recipe oh man yeah so. yeah no we're good to go yeah. we're good to go it's gonna be a good day could be good good day good yes day. yes uh so what do we got on the docket for today ladies and gentlemen uh, i'll tell you we got some what good stuff today uh up first this uh rapper from mexico haven't heard of him but this guy <laughs> has reportedly admitted to dissolving students bodies in acid Straight out of Breaking Bad. Yep. That's going to happen sometimes. Um, Tony's going to talk about this uh, feel-good story. Yeah, we got a feel-good story. <laughs> Finally. Finally something good. <laughs> uh, this lady pictured here uh, is a cashier at a local grocery store in Colorado. Yeah, yeah. And a customer was so nice, tipped this lady $100. Yeah, a little tippy tip. Nothing wrong with that. No. Uh, teachers, uh, back in the news, this lady right here uh, was told to wear something else and put a sweater over her shirt that says, just pray. Mm -mm. There's more to the story. More to that story. And finally, wrapping up today, Amy Schumer is not doing too well. She's currently in the hospital dealing with some kidney issues. Yeah, some serious uh, kidney infection. And when I saw the picture, I didn't think it was her. She looks very different. She looks very different. For sure. Uh, this was from her Instagram, so... Yeah, she put this one up. Yeah. We were going to get a different one. <laughs> so, no, let's keep Yeah, I was just like, this doesn't even look like Amy. And yeah. then I was just like, I, I went to her Instagram. I was like, oh, well, that is... that That's her. <laughs> She's the one who put it up, so yeah. we're going to keep going with it. So we got to be official. Yeah. And since we're still in April, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do the random word of the day. And we have to incorporate this word into one of our stories. Oh, God, I don't want to do this one. This is a very morbid one. You got a heart. Oh, jeez. Don't bring it down. Don't, okay, bring, sorry. don't bring the mood down. Oh, sorry. On this sexy Friday. Yeah, as opposed to my first story. That's well, about that's a, gonna a, a rapper that's dissolving uh, students' bodies in acid. Well, we don't know what they did yet. Maybe uh, they deserve to be dissolved. Maybe they did. <laughs> we'll figure that out. Uh, today's word. Yeah. Keffel. Mm -hmm. uh, a horse. That's or a nag. I don't know how it could be. What's a nag? I don't know what a nag is. You're keffle. a nag. You're a nag. <laughs> <I'm> a nag. <laughs> you're a keffle. <laughs> that doesn't count. <laughs> a horse. Okay. A horse. That shouldn't be too hard. Uh, that You say that now. Yeah, we'll figure it all about that. Uh, up first, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Mexican rapper reportedly admits to dissolving students' bodies in acid. Uh, a Mexican rapper and YouTube star. I use that very lightly. Wow, I like how they go together. <laughs> yeah. Uh, confessed this week to dissolving the bodies of three missing s film students in acid uh, at a behest of a drug cartel. Um, Christian uh, Gutierrez, mm -hmm. better known as QBA, has been detained over the death of three stu film students. Wow. Uh, he confessed to state prosecutors that he disposed of the bodies after three victims were kidnapped, tortured, and murdered, and he finished the deed by, again, wow. melting their bodies in acid. Uh, oh. He admitted that to a friend that recruited him three months ago to work for uh, Gelseco New Generation Drug Cartel, and that he received 3,000 pesos, nearly $150, $59 a week. 
That's it? That's it. That's all it takes to I guess so. dissolve a body yeah. these, these days. That's a week. So, I mean. That's a bargain. A, so, what's like 150 so it's divided a, by seven. <laughs> Sorry, my math is horrible. Oh, boy. It's like $21 a day. So, it's $21 to, to get rid of some bodies. Is that a lot in Mexico? I wouldn't think it would be. I don't know. No. I don't. I'm not from Mexico. I don't know what the. I don't know how far three thousand pesos can get you. In I mean, Mexico. I don't, not very far. I don't think. Well, if this is a crazy little story. <laughs> well, I'm glad that they found this guy. Weird. Uh, he's a rapper. He's a rapper slash YouTube. He works star, for the cartel, and he works for the cartel. Also, the street cred is real. That's the thing now. Now his street cred is like crazy high. Like he's the guy right now for sure. You're, that, there's no debating that. You ain't gonna mess with him. Well, no, well, I mean, I think he's dissolve in, your he, ass in some. He's in jail now. Yeah. So there goes his rapper and YouTube career. I wonder, man, because he's been working for the cartel. We always hear weird stories about what's going on down there, and you know, tourists going down there mm-hmm. and finding these bodies and all this stuff. I wonder how hard they really are on the criminals down there because. Like, it's so crooked down there with the police. You know what I mean? Like, it always seems like the police are always owned by the cartels. Yeah. Like, this kid could be out tomorrow. He could be out right now. I don't know. Who knows? You know what I mean? I mean, again, it is a crazy war and battle that's going on uh, between police and cartels in Mexico. Um, Yeah. I'm assuming there probably is some corruption. Uh, Like, I mean... For sure, lots of corruption. Um, I don't know. I've been. Have you been to Mexico? No, I have not. I've been there a couple times. Yeah, it's good. I mean, obviously not in this situation. But <laughs> yeah, what, what were you there for, Tony? I was there not for that purpose, and I was not around that whatever, time. Whatever happened to that friend you had? I have an alibi. <laughs> okay. His name is Juan. Yeah, and we don't know where he is right now. But for one hundred fifty-nine dollars, you can find him very quickly. Yeah. He may be in a barrel somewhere. Unbelievable. Now, I've gone down a couple. Of, I think the word is down in Mexico as far as if you're going down. Because right now we just we were looking at another story before we started. Find five. They found five bodies in a stuffed in a trunk down in Cancun. Yeah. So I think it just depends on where you go. I think the word is if you go closer to the border of the U.S., it becomes more dangerous. Listen, so try to go a little more further south if you can. I'm staying on the resort first You're, of all. Oh, yeah. I'm not. Oh, moved. trust there me. Any, yeah. any kind of person's like, hey, come take a tour. No, nah, I'm good. People tell me, man, they, okay. oh, yeah, we went to the clubs. I thought you are going to the clubs. No. Listen. Won't be me. Don't leave your damn resort, and it won't be a problem. Yeah. Period. I will stay on the beach. Wholeheartedly. Can you Im- listen? Just don't leave. You want to see Mexico? Google. Yeah. <laughs> that's mother. That's fucking Mexico. That's all right. It. You can go on the streets and do like you can actually get street view on the yeah, on Google be, Maps. You now. can be right down there and safe. Yeah. Do it from your comfort of your bed. Yeah. Or yeah. even I mean you can you can do it from the beach. You with, can do it from. You can be in Mexico. Yeah. yeah exactly. At the resort. There you go. And you, if you want to take a tour through the city, just get your laptop out. Right. I mean, travel tips, ladies and gentlemen. Listen, there's safer ways to do Mexico, people. Yeah. I've gone down there. I don't leave the resort. The only time I leave the resort, go to the airport. Right. And then bring my ass back. There you go. That's it. I don't get, I've seen nightclubs. I've seen this. I've, listen, I don't need any touristy I'm stuff. Good. I'm good to go. I'm perfectly good. Steve says, imagine the level of terror the cartels inflict on police officers uh, down there by simply threatening their families. Exactly. True point's a very big problem, obviously. Well, it's, a, it's a constant battle between, I, can, I, I can't imagine what actually goes on. I mean, you see and hear about the, the news stories every now and then yeah. of like horrible, horrible crimes and like as such as this, what we're talking about. Yeah. But I mean, I guarantee you that that's barely scratching the surface of what actually is going on between cartels and what they actually do yeah. and between police officers. I mean, it, it uh, yeah, it, it, it blows my mind thinking about it. Mark says, I was in Cancun recently. It's bad. You got to be careful. Even on the nice resorts now, Cancun is going the way of Acapulco. And Acapulco at some point got really, really bad mm-hmm. uh, and was very dangerous. And nobody would go there for quite a long time. So it's unfortunate because Mexico is beautiful. Like, you know, right. I think when I was down there, I did go to like the Mayan Riviera. You go see the, um, the Mayan uh, ruins. Yeah, yeah. It's incredible. Trust me. It's something you definitely want to see. But. At what cost is the problem? Right. So it's yeah. unfortunate. It is. Yeah, and again, it is unfortunate because I, I, me personally, I would love to go to Mexico. Yeah. But I like my, I like living too. I choose life. Yeah. And I'm not saying you're going to go down there and bad stuff is going to happen. I'm not, we're not imploring that, but it's yeah. just, you know. The risk. It's, there is definite risk. Yeah, no at, doubt about as it. As opposed to going to other places. But I mean. You know what? Go to L.A. Lots of Mexicans there. <laughs> go to Miami. All kinds of Cuba. You can travel all this, around. You ain't got to be in dangerous places. Yeah. But anyway. 
It's uh, watch yourself. Yeah, watch yourself. Be careful. Uh, up next. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Nice. Nice story. To from one to the other. From yeah. The from uh, polar opposites. <laughs> yeah. uh, we go from melting bodies in acid yep. to tipping cashiers. Hundred dollars. It's not a bad thing, right? It's not bad at all. Amanda Garner. Uh, burst into tears Thursday while working her second job thanks to a stranger who recognized the financial struggles she faces as a teacher in Colorado. The same... Oh, drop my pen. Uh, that same day, Garner, Garner had railed... Uh, sorry, rallied at the state capitol for better pay and school resources. Mm -hmm. uh, the effort continued Friday as part of the wave for the teachers' actions across several states in support of more money for public education, which we know is a huge problem even here, of course. Seems to be the growing trend. Yes. Um, so after he gave her the money, of course, uh, they shook hands. Uh, he thanked her for her commitment in the, in the classroom. Uh, there, about an hour later, the man returned to buy some cookies while checking out. Mm. Uh, he handed Garner an envelope. It said, for the teacher. I didn't get a chance, he says, uh, to uh, to look at it for a bit. Or sorry, she said. Uh, so I smiled and put it in my apron. So she didn't even look at it when he first gave it to her. She <laughs> finally opened the envelope during the break. She found two $50 bills wow. and she started to cry. <laughs> nice. Uh, really good story. That's kind of cool. We've heard of tipping stories where people go into places and right. they tip people more than, you know, what's on the bill and Remember stuff. Remember when we used to do the Feel Good Friday stories? We did. What happened? <laughs> we ran out of feel good stories. It was hard to find, man. I tried going to some websites that specifically yeah. uh, were about finding good news stories. Right, and, right. and those sites were really slow. Mm. Uh, again, I mean, so if someone wants to pass on your boy uh, some good links or your boy some good links for uh, some yeah. good stories, shoot them shoot across to us. We, gotta, we gotta find some ordos. Yeah. Garner says that her basic expenses, car, uh, car payments, rent, and student loans eat up about 74% of her take-home pay, Jeez. not including food, bills, and the money she spends on uh, to outfit her classroom. So she actually buys supplies We're, for her classroom. Which, which we talked about Which before. we covered that as well. Uh, so she said, it's really hard to make ends meet on 50%, 15% uh, of my take-home. Uh, that I, seems really uh, out does of she whack. Say she, if she has kids? Like, could you imagine she, if she has kids too? She doesn't say she has any kids. She looks fairly young there as well, um, but she's working two jobs. Yeah. But I mean, the student loans al alone, must be huge, uh, you know, down there as well. Listen, thankfully, when I took out my student loan, I was able to uh, do zero percent interest. Oh, really? And I was, I'm still able to uh, Ooh, qualify for that. <laughs> wow! Here we go. <laughs> yeah, all, right, yeah. all right, all right. So, I mean, but uh, yeah, that's uh, uh, especially in the states here in Canada as well. It's yeah. unbelievably crippling, and it's it's unfortunate when people go to school for something that they would really like to to get into, yes. such as teaching in this case. Yes. And I know up here. Teaching is hard as hell to get into once yes. you graduate oh, yeah. and do all your courses and stuff like that. Uh, and then you're spending all this money to get on a wait list to substitute, yep. which is crazy because there's a lot of people already on this, this wait list to substitute. True and story. even the crazier part is teachers that retire go back on this substitute list substitution list right right so and they get and i think it's based on seniority as well yes so the teachers that have been already working however many years get to retire and then casually pick up the random uh substitution jobs which i think is unfair yeah i totally. think once you retire i think that's it you're out yeah you're out yeah. say so, you know and let some other young hungry people bring some new uh ideas to the classroom With and teach the young these bucks, kids something yeah, yeah sure it's your old ass anymore come on <laughs> so much for old asses yeah speaking of old asses let's do a roll call yeah uh, <laughs> shout out to trevor happy friday to you sir i see that yeah mark brian uh elisa uh, Alyssa, sorry, I always say your name wrong. Dan, uh, TK's in the building. That's nice. Alicia, <laughs> Dylan, uh, Caleb, Julie, Jamal, uh, Steve, uh, Kathy, uh, Jonathan, uh, Cromwell, always in the house. T. Wu, like you said, in the house. Carrie and Meg and Cody, what's up, baby? Hello, hello, hello. That's everybody in the house on this uh, Friday afternoon. Friday afternoon. A very beautiful Friday afternoon. So beautiful. I'm getting the hankering for a drink, but ooh, what are we doing in here, brother? Let's I go. know, I know. We got our As white a matter tees. of fact, <laughs> boom. Got our tea. Wait, look at this. Yoink. Look at the white tee, boys. It's a good thing you have a jacket on. We would have been the same match and again. Oh, And yeah. kids got a white shirt on I today, know. too. Wow. Oh, here we go. Okay, so. Here we go, no, nipply. No, no, okay. <laughs> I don't have a nipply shirt on, though. No, like, no. It's kind of like yeah, it's not good. as nipply. It's good, good. You got puffy nipples today. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for that. There you go. <laughs> Welcome to Talking Trends. <laughs> yeah. uh, speaking of teachers. Talking nipples. And talking nipples. Yeah. <laughs> uh, today we're talking teachers. Um, this teacher 
was told to change a shirt that had quote unquote just pray on it. Mm-mm. Uh local teacher's Facebook co- co- post is causing quite the controversy. Yep. She claims that she was sent home. The <laughs> teacher was sent home Go from home. school to change her shirt because it had the word pray on it. Yep. Um Fox 10 News asked Mobile County Public School Superintendent Martha Peak about it. Uh when teacher Chris Bur- Burrell pictured here, mm-hmm. uh had her shirt to wear to school Monday morning. It reminded her of 11 year old, uh, oh boy. Oh boy. Aubrey yeah, Nicholas. Didn't. Sorry, should have read the article before. We didn't this have time, time people. We, we didn't, didn't have time. time yeah. uh, so, anyway, it, it reminded her of this 11 year old girl. It had the, the words just pray on it in support of a fundraiser to help this young dancer mm-hmm. who was diagnosed with a rare uh, brain tumor last year. Okay. So, but that's not the way the school's principal saw it. Oh. So at the the point of looking and seeing prey on it, the principal said, can you put on a sweater or something, knowing that there are other people who object to that? We right. have to, um, we have to basically adhere to everybody's beliefs at uh, at a public school, said yes. the principal. Um, Peak tells us the principal was just following the rules, which say teachers and students can't wear clothes that reflect a certain belief. Uh, in her Facebook post explaining what happened, uh, Burrell writes, I didn't think twice about it. I wasn't trying to promote, promote religion. It was just my Monday feel-good shirt. Uh, we're all told at the time the principal didn't know the shirt was in support of the little girl. Mm-hmm. Um, but he says, we're totally supporting her. I think it was just an unfortunate connection here. Um, but still, the principal would have uh, exercised her judgment, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. Meanwhile, the post is now 800 shares and people coming to the teacher's defense. Mm. Uh, we're, not, we're told that there's no disciplinary action that was taken against the teacher Good. other than asking her to go home and change the shirt. Okay. Um, I think mm. I kind of, piece of me agrees with the principal. Yeah. Because there's been, we've covered so many stories where uh, students have went home yeah, for, totally. for wearing, yep. I don't know, inappropriate clothes to, to uh, school. For sure. And I kind of like to see it. This, this rule has been applied to one of the teachers. And yes. I understand where they're coming from. If they're yeah. teaching in the, the public sector, mm. you you know, you have to adhere to some rules where people may not, everybody's not Christian, everybody's not this and that, and they don't, right? Everybody doesn't pray. Uh, but also, I think maybe the people who are doing the fundraiser, I don't know. Could they maybe came, come up with a better slogan? Mm, Perhaps. I mean, I don't know. I mean, if you're not a religion, if you don't practice any religion, yeah. then obviously you don't pray, but you might pray. Who knows? Pray what do you to, believe? To the meat God. To who knows? The whoever God. You know, <laughs> the uh, dog cup God. To me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I mean, if you're any other, I mean, if you're any religion in the world and you practice those religions, you pray at some point, I'm assuming, you just pray differently. Uh, but listen. It's been a long time, and everybody knows it. There is no room for religion in public schools. No. Period. There isn't. You can't, because then you got to appease everybody, and that, you can't do it now. Yeah. It's super hard. I mean, remember when they used to do, of course, the Lord's Prayer, yeah. which was many decades ago, yeah. and they got rid of that, of course. You can't do that anymore, they So, did. which is fine, because there's other religions, and we understand you have to be sensitive to our religions. That's cool. Um, but yeah, I don't know, man. Even for this, like... She's not harming anybody. It doesn't mention a religion on her shirt. It's for a good cause. But then it opens the door to everybody else. Why can't I do this? Why can't I wear a shirt that says this? Mm. You know what I mean? Like, it, it is a sticky situation. Whenever you bring religion into a school setting, it never ends well. No. Right? Because there's always a group or groups or people that oppose to what's going on. I don't know. It's a shame. It's a shame because she's doing it for a really good cause. That's a shame. Yeah, and and that's the thing. I didn't think, well, it says in the story that the principal didn't know right. what the shirt was for. But, I mean, I think, maybe again, I think the shirt should have had a little bit more context or maybe something more customized towards the the girl and her fundraiser. Whatever her name was, maybe yeah. work something into that yeah, for right. a shirt. So, I mean, it become, maybe you can add a hashtag or what have you. I mean, I get it. You People typically... You know, pray for like you know, if someone's sick, just like you know, send was positive. Was a fundraiser to go with it or no? She just kind of that was part of the. Fundraiser? I think it was part of okay. the fundraiser. All right. um, but yeah, I think as another side, yeah, I think they should have came up with something a little bit better. But uh, but I mean, maybe they didn't think it would have caused this this kind of weird uproar within a public school system. So yeah, I don't but know. I have to agree. I think I'm on the side with the principal. 
more yeah, so. I kind of, I kind of, yeah, I don't know, man. I'm kind of on the border. I don't know. I mean, it's weird. Well, I just like it because right now we've covered so many stories where students have been sent home for the same or yeah. much less. Yeah. And then it's good to kind of see this story. Well, I mean, not good, but it's interesting to see this story where a teacher has been somewhat disciplined to be like, hey, can you put a sweater on? I mean, she's not putting band-aids on her nipples like that other story. Yeah, well, yeah, that's a whole different. <laughs> which is a whole. That was a super extreme scenario. Yeah, which is like crazy. Which I think I think we all agreed was wrong. I yeah, think, which is insane. But I don't know what kind of fundraising they're doing. Maybe there's, you know, I, mean, I don't right. know, you know, in in school they do, you know, different things, car washes, and they do all kinds of different things, bake yeah. sales, or whatever. You know, maybe yeah, po- pony rides, keffel rides, maybe oh. they might want to get on there. <laughs> there it was. Were you going for? I was going to slide it in, but you know yeah. what? I like the way that that was good. Yeah, keffel ch- rides are yeah, good. Yeah, keffel rides are nice. You know. What I mean? Uh, Leland says racism. I don't know. <laughs> you can't just say racism and just leave it at that. You got to back it up, man. No, you just can't come on. Kathy like likes that. your jacket. Oh, thank you. Nice jacket, TK. Uh, well, I picked this little doozy up, I believe. At we went, I think we went shopping when I got yes, it. Yes, I think you're right. At um, looks familiar. Zara. Zara's. Yeah, I think. Uh, I meant to iron it, to iron it today, but uh, no, the rough look is okay. Okay, cool. In this situation, oh, sorry. you know what I mean. Racism. Yeah, so racism. That's, uh, there you go. Just throwing it out there. I don't know. It's perfectly fine. All right. Uh, up next, and the final story of the day. Mm-hmm. Amy Schumer back in it. Our girl. Our girl. Wait, I just recently saw a movie you did? featuring Amy Schumer. Uh, what was it called? I, f- I, I am. Feel I feel pretty. Pretty. Yeah. Well, she doesn't feel pretty in this picture, or maybe she does, and that's why she didn't care about posting. It's an Instagram picture you're looking at now that she, she probably posted doesn't feel up. good. She doesn't feel anything probably right now. She's probably right. on drugs. Mm-hmm. Amy Schumer suffering from a horrible, as they uh, describe it, kidney infection. Comedian, 36 years old took to Instagram to let fans know why she's been recently silent on social media and during the press circuit for her new film, I Feel Pretty. Mm-hmm. Uh, quote saying, here's what I've been up to this week, and she posted the picture. Um, I was hospitalized for five days with a horrible kidney infection. Uh, the uh, train wreck actress spoke uh, directly with her diehard fans, saying, I wanted to share this with you because this is sexy as hell. But mostly because I was meant to go to London for the opening of I Feel Pretty, and my doctors told me, uh, no, you can't do that. That'd be horrible she went to fly on, with, like, that would not be a good thing. infected kidneys. Uh, she went on to thank the uh, hospital staff and uh, close people uh, around her. I want to give a big thanks to you, uh, doctors, and the badass nurses, she says. Also, my husband, who was, uh, whose name is, I want to say, Chris. Uh, and my sister, because I was gonna say, I was like, wait, she's married. When did she, when did she get married? You know, her marriage was weird. Uh, oh, is she married though? She is married. Oh, I didn't even know. I thought super, she wasn't. No, super low key. It uh. was. It's not a famous person at all. Um, and it's. Uh, yeah, I remember listening to it on the radio. I think I was watching, uh, listening to Stern actually. And he was talking. He was interviewing her, and I was like. And I was shocked too. I was like, "She's married." I had no idea. I didn't even. I mean, you would think you'd hear much about. I like that though. Super you know, low key. I like the Super the normal key. guy yeah. gives people like me a chance. You have hope. I have hope. Yeah. Who so, are you gonna land? I mean, pick any, one. Pick I'm someone. down. I'm down with anybody, ladies and gentlemen. You Listen. know. Hey. You know, it's all good. She apologized for missing out uh, on the uh, premiere of her movie, of course. Uh, I'm really disappointed. She said, selfishly, to miss a trip because I love London and Europe in, in general and all the great people and the food. So, Fair enough. But, uh, <laughs> she has to put her health first, she says. Oh, exactly. So hopefully she's feeling better. Uh, yeah. You know, she's... Um, Infected kidneys, ladies and gentlemen, no joke. Uh, you can no joke. You can die from this. And yeah, yeah. it requires uh, prompt medical attention. And she's still uh, being a funny. She's still, t- <laughs> she's still being a comedian. That She's still laying there, which is great yeah that's good but i mean i I think she knows she's in good hands and uh i mean as she said she was thanking the the hospital staff so uh, again she's in good spirits uh i personally liked the movie it was pretty funny i was surprised Uh, you Uh, saw it yeah well you liked it yeah yeah you were surprised it was funny well i mean her last i saw one of her last ones and i didn't i wasn't we're impressed i wasn't blown away yeah but honestly yeah i I enjoyed it, even though it was like maybe a quote unquote chick flick. Right. Um, yeah, I still have fun. I'll go see a movie. I don't care. You don't care? I don't care. As long as it's free. As long as it's free. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. All right. Well, that's good. Oh, well, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. That's today's show. Look at that. Boom. Bumbled up on time. In and out. And we're finishing like pretty much what on time. What is happening in this know. place? We might have to try the same kind of thing on Monday. 
I don't like the stress of it. No, I do I. But we're so late when we're just like, we got an hour to kill before the show. I know, because we're, so we're just gallivanting in the yeah, office. we're not doing anything. Laughing at the world's coffee problems. Yeah, it's yeah. a disgusting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> laughing at the homeless people. Yeah, yeah, that's you. Oh, my God. Oh, such baby. a cold heart. Unbelievable. Uh, if you're out in a boat this evening, you can't come tonight. Maybe tomorrow night. I don't know. We're going to be at the Just for Last Festival. Yeah. Not performing, but uh, we will be there. Yeah. In and about the area <laughs> of the bar, yeah, uh, conducting some business. Yep, that's at Spats Theater. That'll yep. be tonight and tomorrow night. So yep. tomorrow night there might still be tickets. Tonight is completely sold out, which yep. is great. Seven hundred plus tickets sold. Yeah, and then the after party is going down too, maybe tomorrow evening. Tomorrow evening at uh, Tempo. Tempo, I believe. Yeah, I'll be dipping in there. For You'll a quick be there. Beverage. I'll be doing my own little event for a, a, a good car company. <laughs> An unknown. I can't say it. Can I not? You can if you want to. Ah. They're gonna get you. Uh, you can't, because what if we have a, another sponsor that wants yeah, to? Yeah. Anyway, great car good. company. It's all good. Uh, yeah. And so, I'll, I'll be at the West End. I can say that, though. You can say you're at the West End, yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh, cool. That's our plans for the evening. Yes. Hopefully, you guys have some good plans for the evening. It's a nice day. Go go for a walk. Yeah, it's you nice know what? Outside. It's nice out, ladies and gentlemen. It was kind yeah. of an up and down week with weather. Uh, if you're not doing anything tonight, just, you know what? Go out for a walk. Yeah. Walk around your neighborhood or something. Get a, Get some of that fresh air into your system. It's always good to have get that Netflix air. Uh, air out of your body that you've been laying. Yeah. <laughs> your hibernation is over, people. Yeah, it's done. You can now leave your home. Exactly. Uh, the kid says I'm flexing right now. I'm not flexing. Well, yeah, that's a flex. Oh, boy. Uh, all right. So, yeah, get outside. Get some fresh air. And also, go Raptors. Ooh, tonight. They're playing tonight. The Raptors playing tonight. Uh, Cleveland's playing tonight. Cleveland. Uh, versus Indiana. OKC. OKC versus tonight. Utah. Your Bruins play tomorrow. Bruins made it to the second round, ladies and gentlemen, and they're playing Hello. old Tampa Bay. Yeah. Four that's o'clock in the afternoon. So, mm-hmm. you know, I'll be posted up somewhere watching that game. He'll be shacked up in his room. Yeah. Over and over his laptop. <laughs> we should go somewhere and watch the game like humans. Let's do it. Just not where you were talking about. Yeah. Oh, do you want tonight's game? We can watch the Raptors the game tonight. Depending on what, the, what time the oh, event ends. Uh, I'm watching the draft. Oh, Sorry, me. NFL draft. Unbelievable. But maybe I'll skip it. I don't know. Okay. All right. Anyway. Uh... It's all good. That's all good. Have uh, a good evening. <laughs> ladies, have a good evening. Uh, good also, weekend. Ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, I didn't mean to exclude the gentlemen out there. Ladies and gentlemen, have yeah. a good evening out there. We appreciate your time tuning in uh, Monday to Friday. We will see you Monday, and have a good weekend. Peace. We are out. Peace.